Yo, thank you for tuning in to your massive strength workout. My name is Andy, I'm gonna be your coach for today. We've got Micah, yes, we've got Patricio, and we're gonna take you through this workout, okay? So all you need today is a mat and your dumbbells. Let's get warmed up, okay? So we're just gonna start with a nice little jog on the spot, okay? So warm up, just wanna get the heart a little bit accelerated, get that blood flow, and just bring you into the space, yeah? Get you ready for your workout, your massive strength workout today, yeah? So just make sure these shoulders are nice and roll back, shake out any tension you got going on. And just bring it in, yeah? You got this. Start lifting those knees up a little bit as well. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, going in for that squat. Take it into a reverse lunge. Back to that squat. Stick with that same leg just to start with as well, yeah? Just to get it nice and flowing. Want that back knee about an inch off the floor. And for your squat, just make sure those knees are tracking over those toes, yes? We're keeping it nice and pulled back. That's it. Again, just really use your breath with this movement. 10 more seconds. You've got five, four, three, two, one, all right, just take those arms up overhead. Get a nice little jumping jack going. Get this upper body warmed up, yeah? In this warm up as well, just start thinking about, start thinking about what you want to achieve from your workout today, yeah? Start thinking about what your goals are, how you want to feel when you finish, and then you can just keep motivating yourself through this workout, yeah? I'll be there to help you. The guys in the room are here to help you as well, but you've got to keep motivating yourself. You've got four, three, two, one, back to that squat, and just that reverse lunge on the left this time, yeah? So just hitting that other side. Same movement as you did. So you're already good at that movement, yeah? So, massive strength workout today, yeah? Gonna be lots of dumbbell movements. Got a modified version. If you want that modified version, Patricio is gonna be doing it for you. If you want that accelerated version, got Micah at the back doing it for you, yeah? So last five, four, three, Two, one, and just to finish it off, get some upper body twists going, rotating that spine. That's it. Just really throw away this movement. And just some shoulder circles. A little bend in the leg. How are we doing? Should be feeling nice and warm now. Nice and loose, ready to go. A couple more circles. You got three, you got two, you got one and breathe. All right, we have a 60 seconds challenge for you guys today, and today is gonna be those squats, yeah? So 60 seconds, as many reps as you can of those squats, okay? So thinking about those knees, staying over those toes, heels glued down to the floor, shoulders back, sticking that bum out, and we wanna hit that 90 degree point at the bottom. Stand up, squeeze those glutes, yeah? 60 seconds, remember to count those reps, we're gonna be inputting them at the end. Are we ready in the studio? Are we ready at home? We're ready, all right, we're going in five, four, three, two, one, let's go! As many reps as you can, sitting nice and deep into that squat. Remember to breathe as well, yeah? Want that full range of motion. You want to make it as efficient as you can. We ain't messing around here, yeah? Micah's going for it. She's got that smile on her face as well that you know she means business, yeah? She's in it. She's in it. She wants to win, yeah? She wants to beat herself. She wants to beat that previous score. That's it. We got it, team. Keep that intensity going, yeah? You're over halfway. I don't want you to slow down, yeah? I want you to keep persevering through, keep pushing yourself, because you just got to think. This is you against you, and you need to get the best score you can so you can have the best day, yeah? That's it, coming up to that final 15. We've got 10 seconds, go on. Last few reps. Really add that speed on, yeah? Go for that sprint finish. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. How are we doing? Remember to input those reps, yeah? This is your own challenge. Make sure you're counting. All right, just shake it out. Take a second. Grab hold of those dumbbells. Let's get started, all right? So your first movement, we are going to stick with these movements for 30 seconds, so really go for it. Widen that stance out. I want you to think about rowing this arm up, and you want that opposite hand to opposite foot. Take it back to center, yeah? So you want your right hand to go to that left foot, left hand to that right foot and your opposite arm, you're just drawing it up, really getting that lat nice and engaged, yeah? Only got another 15 seconds, so we're really getting those last few reps in. <sighs> Trying to make it as fluid as you can here, yeah? That's it, looking good. 
Coming up to that final eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keeping a nice wide stance. All you're gonna do is sit down into your goblet squat and you're gonna draw those arms up, yeah? So make sure those toes are facing out to the side and as you sit down, I want you to think about rowing those arms up, your elbow being the highest point in that movement, yeah? So you're almost like a scarecrow here. And again, think about really sitting down deep into that squat before drawing it up, yeah? So with that squat movement, we are really activating the inside of those legs, hitting the back of those hamstrings, those rear quads, yeah? You've only got 10 more seconds. Again, just try and sit into the movement for a second at the top. Make sure we're nice and isometric. Got three, two, one. All right, staying down into that squat. Glue those dumbbells together. Just rotating side to side, yeah? With this movement, think about really lengthening up through the spine, yeah? Try not to let that upper body crunk over. Keep it rolled back and just keep it tight, yeah? Same as what Mike is doing here, yeah? Look how strong she is. Just keeping that core nice and tight. Those dumbbells glue them together, yeah? I only got eight more seconds. Get those last few reps in. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Take a second. We're going to repeat that exact same round again, yeah? So widen those feet out. We're going for that row, opposite hand to opposite foot. Bam. So second time doing this movement, yeah? You know what to do now. You've got the movement in your body. Just like Patricio here, yeah? Think about really engaging this lat on the way up, yeah? So you wanna be hitting that upper back, we're hitting that lower body, we're hitting that upper body, we're hitting everything, yeah? Full body workout, massive strength workout today, yeah? 10 more seconds. That's it, we've got five, four, three, two, one. Sitting down into that squat, drawing those arms up, yeah? Same again, elbows being the highest point of that movement. Bam. You're looking wicked at home, yeah? Keep with it. See if you can really slow it down on the way down, yeah? So you drive it up, slow release, yeah? Just making it that little bit more difficult for yourself. Really engaging those shoulders as well as those legs, yeah? When it starts to burn, it means you're doing it right, team, yeah? Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I'm gonna sit down into that squat. Two, one, glue them, let's go. That's it, we got it, use that breath. You can hear the breathing in the studio, yeah? It's really fast breath in the back here, but that's good, yeah? That breath is just gonna help you contract those muscles, yeah? Sit into those muscles. We got it. Got a group of warriors in this room. How are you doing, yeah? Keep pushing through. We got five, four, three, two, one. Breathe, all right. New movement for you. Keeping that left foot in front, we're gonna go for that slow single leg deadlift, okay? Once you hit that position at the bottom, you're gonna draw those arms up and bring it back, yeah? So slight bend in that leg, keeping that back flat, hinging forward, you row it, and then bring it back to center, yeah? As slow as you can make the movement, making sure we are really hitting that tabletop position at the bottom, yeah? Want that back to be completely flat before you draw those dumbbells in, yeah? Just like we are at the back here, yeah? You can see on Mike how how flat her back is, keeping everything nice and straight, yeah? 10 more seconds, and really draw those numbers up, engaging those lats. We've got five, four, three, two, one. All right, place that right foot back. Nice wide stance. You're gonna go for a lunge with a bicep curl, yeah? So I just want you to think about going into the center of both those legs, and you curl the biceps, those dumbbells up at the same time, yeah? So keep those palms facing each other. Go for that hammer curl. Lengthen up through that spine. Got it, looking strong. So we're hitting these legs and we're hitting these biceps, yeah? The front of the arm, hitting two different muscle groups and it burns, yeah? But we love that burn. Go on, last couple of reps. You've got five, four, three, two, one. All right, switching it over, right foot in front, going for that single leg deadlift, same thing again, drawing those arms up, yeah? We got it now. That's it. And if you are going for that modified version like Patricio, yeah, just gonna slightly lift that back foot off or keep that foot on the floor, yeah? Whatever's good for you. If you need to keep that core nice and stable, just have that foot. Try and test it a little bit each time, yeah? If you can lift that foot off even a little bit just to really engage that core. That's it, you've got 10 more seconds. And then we're going back into that lunge bicep. Got five, four, three, two, one. Place it back, same thing, yeah? Curl and lunge. At the top of the movement, yeah? Try and straighten that back leg. 
Just you're really getting a squeeze on that glute at the top as well, yeah? That extra little squeeze at the top. Go on, treat yourself. Treat yourself on your strength workout. Don't take any easy options ever, yeah? Keep pushing yourself. Because you're already here. That's the hardest part of the way, yeah? Tuning on. 10 more seconds. That's five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. All right, just drop those dumbbells for a second. Shake it out. Make sure everything's loose. How are we doing, team? We good? We're doing all right in the studio. How are you doing, yeah? You feeling good? All right, we're gonna go on to some new exercises now. So, when you're ready, grab those dumbbells. Hinging forward, all you're gonna do is extend both arms at the same time. One comes out to the front, one comes out to the back, yeah? So it's a horizontal, sorry, like a horizontal diagonal raise, yeah? So you want that front arm and that back arm to be straight at the same time, unless you're doing that modified version, then just add that little bend in the arm, yeah? Things I want to focus on here, keeping that body tilted forward, yeah? Making sure this is nice and flat, that bum is out, and just get that full extension, yeah? 10 more seconds, get those last few in. Got five, four, three, two, one. Glue in those dumbbells together. Again, sit into a tiny little squat position for me. Just side to side with those dumbbells, yeah? Oh, you're gonna feel that one straight away, yeah? Should feel good, yeah? Should be able to feel it right down the side of those obliques. If you need to drop down to one dumbbell for this movement, that's fine, yeah? But if you can stick with those two, stick with the two, side to side, really wanna hit these obliques, yeah? You can see the obliques working, yeah? You can see it on my car. Everything is crunching over. We're getting that full contraction and trying to keep those arms as straight as we can. We got it, we got it. 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna repeat those exercises again. Got four, three, two, one. Okay, straight into it, hinge it forward, opposite arm, raise it up to the back, to the front, bam. And again, if you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, yeah, because you're feeling like a legend today, slow it down, yeah? So we come out, slow, slow, slow. Draw it out, slow, 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 yeah? You got it. Isn't it crazy? The slower you make the movement, the more hard it is. Keep it going, eight, seven, six, five, four, last one, three, two, one. Arms up overhead, same thing again, yeah? Bam, bam. If you're sweating, that means you're doing good, yeah? Keep breathing through it, it'll be worth it, I promise, yeah? It's always when you're doing it, it's hard, yeah? We're not taking you away from that, we know it's hard. But every good thing that happens in life is on the other side of the things you don't wanna do, yeah? That's why we're just keeping you going with this. And Patricio's here, he's sweating, yeah? But he's still smiling, yeah? Keep smiling to the end. You got five seconds, four seconds, three, two, one and breathe, yeah? Shake those arms out. Just take a few seconds just to reset. In through the nose. Team, drop those dumbbells. Now is the time just to bring that breath back into the body. Just give your body a bit of love, yeah? You deserve that bit of love after that. When you're ready, just bring that foot in. Send one leg out, bring that other foot to a nice, position here, just relaxing over that front leg, or if you're comfortable here, just extend up through that spine, make yourself as tall as you can, just want to work on a bit of the flexibility now, completely up to you how you cool down, but this bit is just as important as the workout, yeah, three, two, one, hug that knee in, and just switch over to the other side, yeah. Such a satisfying feeling at the end as well, isn't it? Knowing you put yourself through that, you push yourself to the limit. And if you can do that, you can do absolutely anything. Hold for three, two, one. All right, just switching it over. That left foot in front. Just going for that nice hip flexor stretch here. Once you're in that position, lengthen up through that spine, just take that left arm across the body. That nice stretch of that shoulder blade. And with every out breath, just see if you can sit a little bit deeper into that stretch, yeah? So really just getting that hip flexor nice and open. <sighs> Breathe, hold for four, three, two, one. Just switch over to the other side. Same thing, right leg forward to that right arm across the body.
hold for five, four, three, two, one. All right, just bring those feet together. Slowly tuck those toes under, bring yourself back up to spine. But sorry, back up to standing, roll out through that spine. Once we're up, open those arms up. Just take a slow rotation over. Keep rotating, open up that body, widen those arms. Give yourself a massive cuddle and then put your hands together. You absolutely smashed that. Yes for completing that massive strength workout, you legend. My name is Andy. We've got Micah. We've got Patricio. And you have an amazing day, yeah? You have earned it. We'll see you in the next one.